How's it feel back to, to be back in Denver? I feel good, man. Chill all last week. Um, doing some things with us and uh, just kind of bonding with the guys a little bit. So, uh, But it feel good to be back out here, though. Uh, it's been a while since I actually uh, played some football and made some, some cuts like that, so it feel good. What were you able to do while you were away to kind of stay in the playbook and be up to speed on the offense? Um, well, when I signed, uh, when I re-signed, I came back, I got my uh, – I got my uh, iPad and I spent like three hours kind of going over the playbook then. And then um, uh, I think Coach Hackett did a good job of kind of explaining the plays, uh, play by play, what each guy has. So it's it's it's, it's kind of hard when you're trying to self-teach yourself and uh, you miss out on some small details that I was trying to pick up today, um, actually being out here. But um, for the most part, I, I kind of got things. It's just kind of going out there and hearing Russell um, say it out loud, you know. Probably more Russell Long than anybody here. What does he bring to a building and an offense? Uh, just that winner's mindset. Uh, he's always been like that. First time I met him when he came to Wisconsin, I was just like, man, he just got that that winner's aura, you know. And he just carried it with him. You know, that's just how he is. I was talking to him today. I was like, man, Rush, you quiet, man. You going to smile a little bit? And he's like, man, no, nah, I'm just focused. And I was like, oh, OK, well, that's how you go about it. That's how we're going to do it. So um, he, he tapped in, man. You know, he tapped in. He's always been like that. and. Uh, we kind of need that leader around here. How does this new How does this new offensive system fit you, and, and how do you think you're going to integrate into it? And you know, I just you know I learn the plays. I go out there, they call them, and I run it. You know, I, I played in a system that was very different from what I, you know, I, I in college it was very different when I came out to the Chargers. You know, and I had to adjust, and I feel like you know now I could I could play in any system. You know what I mean? The run plays are the run plays, pass plays are the pass plays. It's really on you know who's ever calling the OC or hack, who you know whoever calling or feel the best play call. It's our job to go out there and make it work. Um, you know, I, I was born to do this, so you know I just go out there and I do my thing. It don't matter what system it is. The job is to make it work. Are you happy to be back here, Melvin? Because you told me last year, kind of un unfinished business with Russ here. You're yeah. back. Is there that sense that this can you can be part of the team that gets this team back to its glory? Yeah. yeah, man. You put us back on the map. You know. Um, you know, I'm glad to be a part of it. You know, it's, it's just a great opportunity to be a part of any team, man. You know, you kind of – you can't take that for granted. Um, you know, being in a position where it was like waiting, and I was just like, dang, you know, it's different. You know, it's it's different because uh, I don't go to OTA, so I, I really didn't – I really didn't – you know, I wasn't really pressed. But knowing that guys are doing uh, OTA work and you're not really a part of the team yet was kind of different for me, you know, so – um, you know, it's just an opportunity to even be out here, man. So to be a part of something special, what I think we we trying to build here, uh, be dope, man. Because uh, you know, obviously the the ultimate goal, um, you know, made on day one or since we started playing ball as kids is is, is to to hold that Lombardi Trophy up. So that's the goal and the mindset, and you know, got to do whatever it takes to get there. How are you with the idea of having to fight for that starting job as opposed to it being? Yeah presumed because what they've got here Javante. Yeah. Uh you know what? Uh you know I, I told I told um you know George um when I when I was at the table I told him you know I'm not going to lay down, you know. I'm not going to lay down. Um I know with a lot of people outdoor Is that my phone. No, it's me. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a fine. Like, That's okay. A fine. Uh, nah, I'm not going to lay down, man. Uh you know, I've always had that mindset um that I got to go get it, you know, that someone, they bring in every, someone in here to take your job. And like I said, I know a lot of people are, are, you know, wanting me to take the back seat. And, you know, I get it. It's been like that for a while. It's been like that when I was with the Chargers. Everyone wanted Austin to start. And, you know, I just come out here and I do my thing. Thanks for the motivation, everybody. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> the added extra motivation. I need it. You know, I need it. And uh, I'm going to just go out here and do what's best for the squad, man. Um, I put my best foot forward down every time I go out there. And then I see what happens. You know, the goal is to make them want to play me, you know. So I know we're going we gonna to do our thing. Me and Vontae going to do it. I don't really know how, you know, we're going to do the reps or things like that. Um, you know, the, the, the goal right now is really to master the playbook and let things, you know, um, play out, but uh, I'm going to definitely be ready to battle. You know, that's what it is. That's going to make us better than did last year, and I'm going to continue to do that. You know, I don't care how old people think I'm getting. I feel good. I've been sharing the ball <laughs> since I got in the league uh, with running back. So this is nothing new. I, you know, I've been battling for a while. You know, I think Austin Eckler is a, a hell of a bat, you know, and I had to battle with him and do the same thing. And, uh, you know, 
it's just it's just, it's just my luck, man. <laughs> I just happen to be, you know, paired up with some great backs. Yeah. Now, fortunately and um, fortunately and unfortunately, I would say. You could have picked your you? spot though. Why come back here? Uh, man, you know, with Russell, that that's that's a game changer and uh it's hard trying to, you know, it sucks just I'm not really one of the guys that like to start over. Um, you know, I don't really like change too much. Uh, you know, coming into a new locker room, having to build relationships, find out who your click is, find out who works with you and what you're able to say and to guys get comfortable. It's, it's a drag. The city, finding new, a new place to stay is just, it's a lot, man. It's a lot that goes into it behind closed doors that kind of change your, your whole thought, thought on leaving a place, you know. And, um, you know, Hackett's a cool dude. He got great energy, man. He's really changed it. The, the whole atmosphere around here. And it's, it's you know, you, you, you're you you're excited to come in. You know, not not saying that I wasn't before, but you just a little bit more excited. He do a lot of different things that kind of, it's like, okay. You know, it's, it's it's fun. It's a fun environment, workplace. You know, it feels good to, feels real good to be a Bronco. And uh, last couple of days, though, coming in here today, and then when I was kind of sprinkling in here, in and out last week, it's just, it's a, it's a different feel. And, I, and I'm enjoying it. No, what are the things that, that what are some of the things that Nate does that are that are different? We've heard about these, you know, these quizzes yeah. in the building. What, what's, what's quizzes? Kind of uh the first thing when we walked in there, they had Judy and, and K Jack on the board. And it was like <laughs> it looked like some versus battle, like a Mortal Kombat versus battle. And I'm like, what is this? Like I'm looking and they go down there and they they you know what I'm saying they shooting shots to see when offense versus defense. And I'm like, that's dope. You know, I haven't you know, in any of my years been a part of something like that so and then last time they had the quizzes and stuff which was cool um he just got a feel man he's joking with me i'll be wearing my grill out here he was laughing about that like you know what i'm saying it's not one of those coaches that you know you see and kind of just you know I'm, I'm gonna take this route <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's not he's not one of them coaches man you know you see him you want to you want to go talk to him man so those those coaches like that you play hard for you know and uh Ryan, you may, Ryan had mentioned you know Russ maybe as well as anyone. Yeah. Does it ever amaze you that he can be in Monaco, New York, speech and give a commencement at Dartmouth? Football never suffers. Like, does he never sleep? Was he like that? College, like he just never. It's like he called himself Mr. Unlimited a few years ago. Is that just who he is? Where, where was he going? He did a commencement speech at Dartmouth yesterday. He was in New York. He was in Monaco at the F1. Yeah. He's been at Avs games. He was at the White House. Yeah. When you when you. Making thirty million a year, you can <laughs> private jet around wherever you want. It's really easy to do that. So, yeah, man. Now he's all about football, though, man. He, I mean, the guy's. He's, I mean, he's locked in, man. I, there's no other way to put it. And, you know, I'm not gonna gas him because he's he's Russell. Um, <laughs> I'm not gassing anybody anymore. I'm just gonna keep it real. But uh, you know, he locked in, man. He come in uh, six thirty in the morning. He's tapped in. He's, he's 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 going over stuff with young guys, with older guys. You know, he's really trying to change change this this feel around here and uh you know broncos countries they definitely gonna be happy to have him i can promise you that thanks thanks, thanks, thanks melvin, melvin.